Hello. This video walks through creating a video player in VR using Godot 4. Start by creating a new project called Godot VR Player. Open the asset library. Search for Godot XR tools for Godot 4, and then download and install it. Open the project settings window, then enable the Godot XR Tools plugin. In the General tab, enable OpenXR and the XR shaders. Then save and restart Godot. For this demo, we're copying an OG Fiora encoded video file that was downloaded earlier into the project folder. Create a user interface scene and rename it Video Player. Add a color rect node, anchored to the full size of the view, and set its color to black. Add a VBox container node, anchored to the full size of the view. Then in the layout settings, change to custom anchor presets, and set the offsets to 10, 10, minus 10, and minus 10, to give a small padding around the container. Add a video stream player node to the VBox container to hold the video. Add an HBox container node to the VBox container to hold the control buttons. Add two buttons to the VBox container, one for play and one for stop. Set the HBox container to center align the buttons. Set the video stream player to align with expand and to expand to fill the container. Enable the expand option in the video stream player so it plays the video in its control area. For the stream, create a new video stream Fiora instance, then paste the name of the video file from earlier in for the video streams file. Connect the play button, pressed signal, to the play method of the video stream player node. Connect the stop button, pressed signal, to the stop method of the video stream player node. Save the scene as video player .tscn. Create a new 3D scene for the environment and rename the root node to main. Add an XR Origin 3D node, then add an XR Camera 3D node inside it. Move the XR Camera 3D node up 2 meters for the average player height. 
create an XR controller 3D node for the left controller and move it up 1 meter and left half a meter. Then bind it to the left hand tracker. Create a second XR controller 3D node for the right controller and move it up 1 meter and right half a meter. Then bind it to the right hand tracker. Add a left hand low hand seam to the left controller and a right hand low hand seam to the right controller. Add a function pointer seen under the XR Origin 3D node to create a laser pointer for the user to interact with 2D scenes. Add a ground plane mesh instance under the user that's 10 by 10 meters. Add a viewport 2D and 3D scene, then rename it to screen, and position it in front of the player. Drag the video player.tscn scene we created earlier into the scene property of the screen. Modify the screen to have a resolution of 800 by 600 pixels and a physical size of 4 by 3 meters. Add a directional light above the player illuminating the scene. Add a start XR node to the scene to start the XR experience when the scene runs. Add a world environment node to the scene with a new environment providing a default procedural sky. Save the scene as main.tscn and set it as the main scene of the game. The project can now be played in the VR headset.